Hey guys, how's it going? Spooky Scary Sunday, you're right on time. And I just want to... Hold on one second. Hello. <laughs> Corey? Yes, this is he. You know I'm coming for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Edward Norton. How'd you know? So you're finally free. Yeah, what about And it? have access to a telephone. Yeah, that's what I'm calling you on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you had a debt to pay. Uh, no! I have no regrets. I'm coming for you. If you want to come, you know where I am. I do know where you are, and I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Yeah, when you... <laughs> what? Well. It seems next week we're gonna have ourselves a little visitor. Oh, guys, before we get started, I want to show you something. Uh, hopefully, uh, you're excited for a little Mortal Kombat 11 tomorrow. I got sent this, uh, scorpion mask from WB. So, yeah, guys, if you're excited for Mortal Kombat 11 Part 1 dropping tomorrow, you already know what to do with that like button. So, without further ado, there'll be no more interruptions. Let's get started. So if you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is by now, then uh, hopefully you just subscribed because we're getting new subscribers all the time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to assume that you've been here. If you just subscribed, then no worries. I'll explain in a second. But if you have been around and still don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, then <laughs> hmm, how do I say this? I'm actually go but going back. If you recently just subscribed and also hit the bell, I'll give you all a second. Spooky Scary Sunday is a show where every Sunday we come together as a samurai, our small little tribe on YouTube. We sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and I watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. Go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin, you already know. Hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday and link the scariest story that you know. And if your story gets picked, you get a shout out. So go ahead and get you a box of Ding Dongs, uh, maybe a two liter of Burners. You know, that's a Detroit favorite. Or if you have some uh, UK Samurai, some Jaffa Cakes. So with all that being said, first video. <laughs> Now the first video of this week is called Monster and it was uploaded by I'm Small Fry. This was sent to us by Princess, so uh, Princess, uh, a quick word. All the other samurai, scooch your little small booty butts to the side. Hey Princess, I just want to say that like, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, but like for real, I just really like, it's crazy, but like, I really appreciate you. What the freak? Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This looks like some uh, actual really good animation. Cammy, is it just me or are we being watched? By who? It's just you, Charlotte. Chill out. Compliments of the gentleman at the end of the bar. Oh, no thanks. Look, that guy just spent 25 bucks on you. I'd take it if I were you. Well, you drink it. I said I don't want it. Oh my gosh. Why are you walking home alone at night? Why? 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 Mm hmm. I can't even be scared of you if you built like a whole M. <sighs> oh, big old freaking right angle 90 degree shoulders. Cammy, hello? What? I can't hear Listen, can you stay on the phone? There's someone behind. Charlotte, you literally sound crazy. Just text me when you. I barely said anything! Cammy? I sound crazy because I said somebody <laughs> is. Oh, here we go. Pepper shot. Pepper shot! Turn around! Was she really <laughs> tripping? 
Nope, she wasn't. <laughs> Got free, there you go. <sighs> hey, 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 I'm partying. Someone I need? No, just stay in the crowd. Why is everybody going? What the frick? Whoa there, sweetheart. Didn't anyone ever tell you it was in point of push? Oh, see you freaking freaking. They can't come in the light. Or Yeah. If there is any time. Get away from me. I'm not afraid of you. Oh. Oh. Say hi to a pretty girl. You know, I feel a certain kind of way about a man that wants to put his freaking hands on a woman. You wanna put your freaking hands on a woman, huh? You wanna put your freaking hands on a woman, huh? Huh? Put your hands on a woman. Sorry. My bad, y'all. Bro, you wouldn't have walked away from that situation. Go ahead, get your license to carry. That's the, the true equalizer. I'm Small Fry. That was a really dope animation. Now the next one's called Do Not Eat the Carrot and it was uploaded by Surreal Entertainment who is a really awesome dude. I actually talked to him for a little bit. Super nice guy. Now this was sent to us by Ali. Yo, I wanna say thank you for sending me this video. Um, I mean, I, I don't really have a lot on my desk. I mean, I got this muscle milk bar. Um, 20 grams of protein. Uh, that's that's pretty good. Here. <laughs> Ali. Ali, take. Ali, I'm giving this to you. It's a gift. Oh, this is going to be weird. Do not eat the carrot. Okay. What? Hello? Do not eat the carrot. I understood. All right. I'm not. Why not? Do you want orange pants? No, I freaking hate orange. Carrots make your pants turn orange. What? Thank you for saving me. Hasta la vista. Oh my gosh, why is this so weird? Jokes on you, I'm sentient, and heard everything you said. Now shut up and put me in your mouth. Uh, no. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> K 
carrots shall one day reign supreme. Resistance is futile. Now this next one is called Tripophobia and it was uploaded by Buddy Booth. Now Tripophobia is the fear of like, uh, like little holes, like a little pattern, patterns of like holes and things. So if you have it, you might want to just move forward. I'll probably put the timestamp here. I don't have this, um, but this should be interesting. Now this was sent to us by Danny. So Danny, um, you probably about to make a lot of people uncomfortable, but I'm here for it. I'm wow. trying to see. Nastiest bathroom. Where are you? I need a ride, but my phone's gonna die. Please call me. Uh oh. Bathroom? I mean, phone? Ew. Your phone has AIDS now. Oh! Needle. Dirty needle. You have AIDS now. Cut your hand off. There's no other way. Dude, you don't leave it in there. Tripo. Trifo. <laughs> Vaccine. And her phone cracked. The virus is an extremely dangerous and deadly disease. The virus works by causing clusters of holes that spread across the body. The virus can be spread through physical contact, saliva, or blood. If you believe you uh -oh. have contracted the virus, it is important to act quickly. First, right. wash any area you believe has been in contact with the virus with soap and warm water. All right. Many victims report seeing clusters of holes at the point of contact. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Time to get gross. Ugh. If this is the case, wash these areas immediately. Some of the other effects of the virus include excruciating pain, sweating, vomiting, migraine, psychosis. Ugh, it's a bar of soap in a loss, public restroom? And death. Ugh. If done correctly, the infected will no longer be able to see any holes, meaning that the virus has gone into a temporary remission. Right. Oh! Ooh. If the holes can still be seen, this means the virus has spread into stage two of the infection. Oh my god. At this point, a stronger disinfectant is necessary, such as antibacterial washer rubbing alcohol. Dude, how about we get out of this nasty bathroom that we're in? This will Leech? Close the holes and yeah, I'm drinking that. Yep. Apply generously to all infected areas. Once this has been done, contact the quarantine team immediately. If done correctly, the infected will no longer be able to see any holes. Oh, okay. Unless the virus spread to other areas of the body, in which case, the infected should quarantine themselves immediately. Uh, you feel so? If the virus continues to oh. spread, you must place the infection. That's on her head? Uh, you about to get killed because you wanted to set your phone down on a dirty bathroom countertop. You're dead. Why is she locked in the bathroom? Say something. If you come across an infected individual that has escaped quarantine, avoid them at all costs. They are dangerous. Do not alert them. Do not touch them. Do not let them see you. What's going on with this? Avoid point? them at all costs. I 
thought I was about to say kill them. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Y'all, watch out for dirty needles, man. Don't reach in no dang trash cans. Jump scare inbound. Get your phone. Yeah, like I said, I don't have that phobia, but. I mean, the loud noises, that, that still scares me. All right, this next one's called Creepy Deep Web Horror Story, and it was uploaded by Wansi Entertainment. This was sent to us by Jalen Garcia. Corey Kenshin, so I can only imagine that you appreciate me. You've already sliced that like button, and the fact that you've sent me this could only mean that you adore me. And Jalen Garcia dot Corey Kenshin, I adore you as well. Any deep web anything, I'm not a fan. A few years ago while I was in high school, the deep web was becoming very popular. I this is a brother. You can always tell a black guy from a white guy. Like my voice. Like <laughs> if y'all heard me on the phone. <clears throat> Cause most of y'all hear my sub YouTube. Hey guys, but you know when I'm on the phone, it's late at night and talking to a lady. I'm like, hey, hello, yeah, girl. Yeah, I just got done. I just got out the shower. And then I hit it with the sarangi, sarangi. Anaseo, sarangi. Two years ago, while I was in high school. The deep web was becoming very popular. I never really got into it until my friend told me about it because he was into that weird stuff. Yeah. One day Looks after like school, it. I had nothing to do, so I went on to the browser tour. Oh. I didn't really see much, so I called my friend over so he could help me out. Once he got to my house, we started searching more and more. We saw a lot of drugs and illegal weapons, stuff like that. Mm. Then he clicked on a link that was in a chat room and the link said, watch this. As we're sitting there, we're just staring at the screen that went from black to the outside of a building within a few seconds. And out of nowhere, a sticky note that said, want to see something cool? No. No. So then I typed, yeah, sure. Oh, wow. What was weird was the guy wouldn't type. He just showed sticky notes in the camera. And he also never spoke. All of a sudden, the camera started moving toward the building that it was facing. As we're watching him move toward the building, we noticed that the building was in our neighborhood. What? Then he quit moving and put another sticky note that said, LOL. That kind of creeped me. Bro, my camera died, but... I mean, what if they didn't get on the deep web that day? And then a person entered the building, which was eerily dark. No. The camera stopped at a padlock door and then unlocked it and opened it. The camera moved toward the back of this dark room and there was a dog bowl on the floor. Now at this point, the camera was only facing the dog bowl. A few moments later, whoever the person was that was holding the camera put something in the bowl that looked like just slop. Yeah. Honestly, it looked like feces. Yeah. Then you hear another door open and a girl crying in the background along with a chain dragon. This girl shows up in the camera crying with a chain around her neck. That's and the old. guy shoved her face in the bowl and puts a sticky note in front of the camera that said, cool, right? Then the screen goes black. We sat there for about 10 minutes in disbelief, but the stream was still alive. Then out of nowhere, the camera was back on. And it was in the corner of my street. Then another sticky note that said, 545 East 99 Street off of St. Clair. That was off, my address. Uh, off, then another uh, sticky note that said, open the door. We sat there confused, then out of nowhere, a knock at the door. 
I... Somebody come knocking at my door? Now let me tell you something, brother. You wanna come knocking at my door looking for trouble? I got a friend here. His name is 12 Gauge. He only speaks one language and that's Buckshot. Grabbed my phone, jumped up, and we both ran to the back door. Then we heard a knock at that door right before I grabbed the handle. At that point, we had someone at the back door and someone at the front door okay. knocking. Okay, y'all got two we people. We were stuck. Critical thinking wasn't my strength at that point. We ran upstairs, called the cops, and locked ourselves in my room. The cops showed up, but no one was outside. Only items of the cops found oh. were 100 sticky notes, all with my address written on it. they got that much time? I told the cops about the building with the girl, and they found it. The girl was 14 and had been missing for five weeks. We moved out of that house within a week. But I would never visit the deep or the dark web again. Hey, it's not, man. I already learned about the dark web from Adam. And welcome to the game. Nah. Y'all can have that. <laughs> The last one of this week is called Balloon, and it was uploaded by my new friends at Alter. Hey guys, thanks for being so awesome to me. This was sent to us by Sydney Allen. Um, Sydney, there's a place in Australia that's called Sydney. I know that because I follow the community channel. She's always talking about that. Anyway, to the side. Uh, Sydney, I really appreciate you. The rest of y'all, I'm not talking to y'all. Y'all could have followed me on Twitter, sent me this, but you didn't. But you didn't. But you didn't. Alter! Them legends. My name is Penny, and I have a fear of balloons. Oh. I don't like it when they. Oh boy! Oh boy! No! Oh my. Wow. Two jump scares, one video. Everybody clap it up. Y'all did crazy this week. Wow. My name is Penny, and I have a fear of balloons. I'm scared. I don't scared. like it when they. Mm. It just caught me off guard it's last time. It's called globophobia. The fear of <laughs> balloons usually begins in childhood when somebody is frightened by their god awful sense of timing. I think I got globophobia. I just never knew it. I hate the sound that they make when people rub their hands on them. You good, Penny? However, my childhood was different. It's not the balloon itself. It's who it represents. What a freak is that? Happy birthday to you. Y'all see what they doing, right? Her name is Penny. Y'all know Penny Wise, the clown. She has a red balloon. I'm right with you, Alter. What the freak? Why would she get in the car? She captured, captured. <laughs> What's your name? Penny. 
He just Penny. sung happy birthday to her. Penny. I love your name. And I love you. Would you like a balloon? I just want to go home. You're dead. I'll make you a deal, sweetheart. Got in the car with him, idiot. If you can answer three questions correctly, I'll let you go back to your birthday party. Deal? Here we go. Brain, don't fail me now. However, if you get three wrong, pop. <laughs> what if I get two wrong and one right? Or two right and one wrong? Question number one. Do you love me? Yes. No. Wrong. That was coming. Did my mother and father love me? Oh. Yes. That's wrong. Wrong! She literally got the first two questions wrong. Do I deserve ice cream and cake? Yes. Just like all the other kids? Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Are clowns funny? Yes. Are scary? Funny. They're... They're funny. They're the most frightening thing that can happen to a child. Please. FBI, open up! Please open up! We're not here now! FBI open up! They had the three knocks and everything. Dang, scarred for life. All because you want to get in the car. You lucky the police came. I'm so sorry, Penny. Don't be. How are we gonna fix that? Today was a huge step for you. How have the exercises with the pictures been? They're fine, I guess. It's getting easier to look at. Did you know that Oprah has globophobia? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. She's much older than me. What if it never goes away? I mean, there are some days where I can't get him out of What's my What's that car world? doing, Penny? We will get there. The next step is to have the ability to surround yourself with them. You do this, you conquer your fear of him. Tomorrow's the anniversary. I deal with it every year. I know. Now's the time. I will do whatever it takes. Some new information on a story we've been following here at XP News, and it's very I mean, how often? Joining us in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is Sheila Kelly. Sheila? Thanks, Jeff. Clown sightings are still at large as people celebrate the anniversary of serial killer Poppy the Clown. Later tonight, we will air the shocking documentary of how this famous killer came to be. A story of neglect, abandonment, and where it all started. A birthday party. How often is she around balloons? I mean, I'm like barely ever around balloons. Like, do you go to birthday parties a lot? Or... Like, you just don't encounter balloons in everyday life. Like... Tomorrow? Just make it until tomorrow. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm 
scared. How many ungrateful children have I murdered? <laughs> Sounds so lame. <laughs> Victor Campbell was orphaned at the age of six, causing a hate to grow and develop. As he grew older, he became too strange for the liking of couples that came on adoption day. One year, the orphanage yeah. threw him a birthday party they would soon regret. Jessica, Adam, Philip, they all went home. Because of the lack of funding, they hired a clown. The clown frightened him after offering balloon after balloon after balloon. Victor used the knife that was supposed to cut his birthday cake to murder the clown and other children in the orphanage. Where are you, Victor? <laughs> Wait! Stop. That's enough, Penny. It's okay. I am so proud of you. You have officially worked past the hardest stage. You were so convincing, I honestly forgot that it was you. I made sure I took the time to get him right. I've watched that documentary about a hundred times. Oh, you really faced your fear tonight. I never thought we would get here. I'm just so glad it's over. Dead. Now, you know, Penny, we have one more stage to complete to ensure you are cured of your phobia. Understand him. You have to give him what he wants so you can let it go. Oh, where are you freaking out? Clowns are the most frightening thing that can happen to a child. Stop. That's it, Penny. That's it. You finally understand him. How many ungrateful children have I murdered? Hey, you've got it. Stop. It's okay. <laughs> you were supposed to be a ten! Penny! <laughs> Oh, 
bro, what did you think was a... And you did it? Y'all were doing this with a real knife? Bruh. <laughs> uh, I'm out. All right, you guys. Uh, this was an all-star week, in my opinion. Um, I pretty much liked every single one. Ten out of ten. I need you to come with this same energy next week. All right. Follow me on Twitter at Corey Kenshin. Send in scariest video. Um, wow. Spooky Scary Sunday, though. Am I right, guys? Spooky Scary Sunday. i see you next week. Happy Easter. We appreciate you, Jesus. Because my name is Kari Kinchin. Perfect.